why I am getting a BBL and lipo, okay? Why am I getting lipo and a BBL? This is this type of video, okay? So I know you guys are used to the other videos, but this is a little bit different. This video is gonna be totally different. Baby, you don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel a chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced. What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, D-Nurse in the building. How is everybody doing on this blessed, blessed Sunday? Today is the 5th, June 5th. Oh my God, it's been so long. So long since I've been on here, okay? Life changes, good, the ups, the downs, the bads, the uglies in life, what have you. Listen, I'm going through it, but I'm still here standing strong, okay? Listen, you guys, today's video is going to be a little bit different than my normal video, okay? As you all know, my name is Dawn. I go by D-Nurse. Um, and my other videos that I have made and I, what I'm about is my uniform scrub line um, that I just came out with. It is still revamping at the moment, so it's still in progress. I still have it. I have some things going on in my life that is causing these things to slow down, but I am still gonna come strong with my line in Jesus' name, amen, okay? So yes, um, that is still going to happen. It probably will be another couple months, but if many of you not know, I give away my nursing hats and my compression socks. Yeah, until my launch drops, I will be doing my nursing hats and my compression socks giveaway. Um, and yes, that's pretty much it. It is not on hold. It is still going as we speak. But there's things that have to be lined up for my business to drop and to launch. Listen, your girl is still strong. I'm still standing here. I am holding up. So yes, let's jump right into this video because I'm not going to waste no time. Okay, so yes, this video, like I said in the beginning of the video, this video is going to be different. In this video, I'm going to explain why I'm choosing to get a BBL, when am I going to get a BBL, and how much is the BBL, and truly, how do I feel about getting a BBL, okay? So these are the things I'm going to be talking about in this video. I hope you guys enjoy this video, and just stay tuned and just jump right into the video because we're not going to waste no time. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about is why am I getting a BBL? Why am I getting a BBL and liposuction, okay? Why am I getting 360 lipo and a BBL? I'm choosing to get a BBL and lipo because I've had four children. Actually, I had five, but one of my um, babies passed away at birth, okay? So I pushed out five kids, but I have four living. Um, and I am choosing to get a BBL because my body, of course. Like, I've had kids since I was in my younger teens, okay? So my body has been transformed. I always struggle with my body frame. I always struggle with how I look. I don't have hips. I always had a stomach because like I said, I had a child at a very, very young age. So I always had this little pudge in my stomach. I always had stretch marks. I always, you know, my body was always transformed. I'm 37 now and I am choosing to get a BBL for me. It's not for anyone else, no other man, no other social media, not the world, but for me, okay? And I feel like getting a BBL and life put is a personal decision. So many people will not agree. Many people don't understand because it's personal. So many of you do know things that are personal with you that you choose for yourself. A lot of people are not to agree with. You know why? Because it's personal. And it's between you and God, okay? Because he understands. And so no other being will understand and that's fine. As long as you understand what it is that you're doing, what it is that you understand about it, and you have come to terms with it, and that's what I have, okay? Um, I have four children, my body is just not right, okay? <laughs> and um, have I tried working out? I'm not gonna lie, maybe a couple times, but I'm not gonna say working out is not for me, but I don't feel like with my body frame that I will get the results that I'm looking for if I worked out, okay? I believe after I get my BBL, I will get the results because therefore I can work towards something, okay? I'm getting it for myself, okay? Because that's just where I'm at, okay? So that's why I'm choosing to get a BBL. Um, I've done my research. I've looked at many doctors. I'm following this one place called Mia Aesthetics. I'm in the group chat on Facebook, I also look um, on videos. I've been looking at videos for a couple months with Mia Aesthetics. Um, and I follow women who have gotten their surgery. I have found my doctor, okay? My doctor name, I can't pronounce his whole name, but I know it's Dr. G, okay? So I can't say his full name yet. I'm still trying to get it, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna screw it up, not today. But his name is Dr. G, I'm gonna say that. And um, 
he's with me at Aesthetics and I am doing my research or what have you. I'm looking up his name, I'm looking up his info. I see the many, many women that he has done surgery on. And many bodies is snatched, okay? So that's what I want for me to be snatched. For me, okay? Um, I'm looking up the research of how the different body shapes, what I want as far as like there's three different types that I am looking for my doctor to do on me. So I'm not gonna speak on that yet because it's still under construction for me to find out what shapes do I, what shape do I really, really want to give me because of my frame. Um, I'm tall, I forgot what my BMI was um, and my weight, but I'm 5'9 and my weight is like 205. Basically, I'm within the range, okay, to get the surgery. So that's what I'm doing for myself. And I am super excited, super nervous, because I do not know. Again, I look at the stories on YouTube. I study them. I'm studying my doctor. I'm looking up his research. I'm looking at all these things. And yes, it is nerve wracking and it is kind of frightening. But I had five children. I pushed out five kids, okay? So ain't nothing more nerve wracking than that, okay? Five kids, okay? So therefore, Come on, that is life threatening when you are on the table having a baby, okay? So I understand this comes with a different dynamic because I never had surgery other than getting my tubes tied. Um, and that was like a little, you know, a little painful, but I understand this is a different type of surgery, but still five kids, okay?